Hi, this is Vittorio and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can buy a domain on Namecheap.com and then modify its DNS settings so that you can uh, point them to your hosting company. So the first thing we need to do is to choose a domain name and to see if it's available. To do that, uh, I'm gonna simulate the purchase of a domain. So for example, let's say that I want the domain uh, this is just a test.com okay so I type it here and then I click on search now the system is gonna tell me whether it's available or not as you see uh, this is just a test.com is taken already and uh, Namecheap tells me that there are other options available uh, I want to buy a domain which is .com in this example uh, but what you can also do is uh, separate the words with an hyphen so this is just at test.com and see if it's available and still this is just a test.com even with hyphens it's, it's taken but as you see there are uh, other extensions available um, just to make it quick I'm gonna go with testing for you which I have already seen it's available here it is. So once uh, you find your domain uh, and that domain is available, um, you can go ahead and add it to your to your shopping cart. And it's gonna tell you uh, how many years do you want to buy that domain for. Uh, so I'm gonna select one year in this example. Uh, I'm gonna choose Express Checkout, and it's going to ask me for my login and password gonna do that uh, so I'm gonna log in into the system and click on login uh, for this side and here it is it's gonna ask me uh, all my um, contact information and uh, once I completed the purchase which is really easy you just fill in your data and then it's gonna ask you for uh, your payment details um, I'm gonna do that uh, right now and in the next video I will show you how your account is gonna look like once you log in before we move on and I show you how to change the DNS settings of your domain name um, I want to uh, teach you what is all this uh, DNS technology basically um, here let's say that here you have Namecheap and you have just bought a domain name which is uh, let's say www.mysite.com okay so uh, they don't know your DNS settings yet so um, you're not gonna see anything uh, if you type in uh, www.mysite.com in your browser what you need to do then is to go to your hosting company so let's say that here you have your hosting company and they're gonna give you the DNS that you need to set up in your Namecheap control panel uh, they're gonna be something like uh, DNS one, DNS one dot uh, host. Let's say company uh, dot com and DNS two, etc. Company dot com. You just go ahead and copy these into your Namecheap control panel. Then you have to wait for two, three days, so that all the servers around the world are. Uh, updated with the new information and after these two three days when you type uh, www.mysite.com you're gonna see the files that you have in your hosting account this means that you can have your uh, domain at namecheap.com and don't worry about your hosting company because if let's say one day you want to change your hosting company because you're not satisfied with them then you just uh, update the DNS settings of your domain here at namecheap.com with the new DNS settings that the new hosting company is gonna tell you okay so we are now ready to change the DNS settings uh, to do that you just log in to your Namecheap account and then you click on your domains here on the right 
you select the domain on which we want to work let's say in this case it's testingforyou.com you click on edit, se edit selected and then here as you see you find transfer DNS to web host you click on this link and here you have the space for the uh, DNS settings as you see it tells you please enter DNS name only as example ns1.mindomain.com please don't enter IP addresses so uh, you have to ask your hosting company for their DNS uh, usually there are two of them as you see two of them are also compulsory um, and once you you just have them you paste them here you click save changes and you're done there are two more things that you can do just by buying a domain uh, the first one is called U URL redirect URL redirect and the second one is called URL frame so what are the difference between the two basically um, if you choose the URL redirect uh, you will do a redirect from let's say domain2 com to domain1 com uh, so someone types in domain2 com and it's gonna be redirected to domain1 com and it's gonna see in its address bar so uh, the one that you see on top in Internet Explorer or Firefox uh, is gonna see domain1.com if you chose URL redirect if you chose URL frame um, it's still gonna see domain2.com in its address bar even though it's gonna uh, see the content of domain1.com uh, in the next video I will show you uh, two examples so that you both uh, better understand how this works and you discover how to set it up in your Namecheap control panel.